Hello everyone, today's topic activation energy versus threshold energy. Okay, so consider a chemical reaction A plus B gives products, A and B are the reactants, and P is the product. What is the activation energy and what is the threshold energy of this chemical reaction? See, I am going to explain this with a practical example then you can easily understand the concept. Consider here, this is a mobile SIM card. Okay. So, you can easily understand this concept. For that only, I am going to explain this one. And the minimum balance required for outgoing call service is $100. $100. Minimum balance for outgoing call service, $100. The present balance is just $25 only. So we will recharge $75. Then only we can activate outgoing call service. Okay. See, in terms of chemical reaction, we can call this 100 as threshold value, this 75 as activation value, and this 25 as average kinetic value. So you can easily understand this concept. Okay, now let's hear A and B, the reactants and subproducts. According to collision theory, the reactant molecules are collide each other to form products. And very important thing is that only effective collision will leads to the formation of products or chemical change. See here, consider the average kinetic energy of a reactant molecule is 25 kilojoule per mole. The minimum energy required for effective collision, then only product will form. The minimum energy required for effective collision is 100 kilojoule per mole. For that, the reactant molecule will absorb energy, they will absorb 75 kilojoule per energy, kilojoule per mole energy in the form of heat, light, radiation, etc. Okay. Yes, very clear. This 75 kilojoule per mole is the activation energy. This 100 kilojoule per mole is the threshold energy and 25 kilojoule per mole is the average kinetic energy. Okay, let us go through the definition the definition of these two first threshold energy it is the minimum amount of energy which the colliding molecules must possess has to make the chemical change to occur is called threshold energy the chemical change means the reactant converted into products see the minimum energy required for effective collision that is called threshold energy now let us check what is activation energy. It's very simple. The extra energy required by the reactants to undergo chemical change is called activation energy. The extra energy we are going to add to reach effective collision energy, that is to reach threshold energy, that is called activation energy. Okay, let's check here the graph. In the y-axis energy and in the x-axis progress of reaction or reaction coordinates. Progress of reaction. Okay, this 25 kilojoule, this is the reactant energy. The energy of reactant is increasing. At this point, effective collision takes place. At this point, effective collision takes place. So the reactant converted into activated complex. Activated complex is the unstable form. Okay. The corresponding energy is the threshold energy. After that, the activated complex loses the, uh, lost their energy and to form products. So this is a threshold energy. And the difference, the difference between the threshold energy and average kinetic energy of a reactant is the activation energy. So 
ae this is activation energy so 75 kilojoule will come here this one okay this is the activation energy okay okay thank you